I am sitting here with Derwin James of the Los Angeles Chargers, all pro safety. Derwin, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing, Derwin? I'm doing fantastic. Um, I heard you recently partnered with the USA Coast Guard uh, for a day of training. Uh, tell me a little about that. Uh, yeah. Um, so I got to, I, lucky me, I got to partner with uh, USAA um, and the NFL Salute the Service, you know, partner. And shout out, you know, mm -hmm. Team Whistle for giving me the experience day in the life that I couldn't even imagine myself doing. You know, I went on a rescue mission, um, a boat chase. It was just, it was an amazing day, like an unforg unforgettable day for me. Fantastic. What was your biggest takeaway from your di from that day? I would say I was just overwhelmed with everything from every point. I Every time I thought I was having fun with one thing, they'll show me something else, and I'll just be like, wow, this is even cooler or this is even tougher than I thought, you know, just being a football player. You know, everything they was going through, the, uh, the, the Coast Guard that they do down there, you know, protecting us, it was just amazing. So I'd say really everything from that whole day, from the boat chase, from meeting the people, you know, how they treated me and everything. So then between the boat chase and the rescue training in the helicopter, which was which did you prefer more? Which was your favorite? Uh, probably probably the uh the rescue coming out of the plane, the rescue for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably it, it had to be my favorite, you know, just being in that water. You know, of course I was scared, you know, what was in there, but you know, I felt the safest with them around me. I was depending on them uh because you know they had the experience i didn't have no experience in the water like that mm -hmm. so i was just leaning on them and you know if i was safe with anybody i knew i'd be safe with the u.s coast guard you know it was good uh you kept saying in the video that your son wasn't going to believe what you did that day how did he react when you finally told him he said daddy you're in a plane daddy look 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 <laughs> you're in a plane he said dad you you jump you're in a plane and they was just really just lowering me down to the thing. It was, it was all cool, man. Just him seeing it, it was cool for him too. Uh, of course, he didn't get to see me on the uh, the the chase, but he he got to see the uh, rescue for sure. Oh, that's so! Cool. I'm genuinely jealous. It's one. Uh, it, it was it was like a once in a lifetime opportunity, man. <laughs> Uh, you, you spoke in uh, the clip I watched about about the importance of preparation and adaptation. Um, do you think those go hand in hand, or is one more important than the other? Um, I think they go hand in hand. I don't think you can have one without the other because you can be prepared all you want to, but if the situation changed or the job changes from everything you mm -hmm. prepare for, then what what are you going to do next? So I feel like you have to lean on the other people, like I say, the team, the experience, mm -hmm. and just be able to you know lean on your foundation to be able to get through it. Yeah, there's a certain point where instinct just kind of kicks yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, instinct and what's natural and what's right and what's common sense. Sometimes every all those things take into place. Uh, using that to kind of switch towards football right now, uh, mm -hmm. there's a ton of excitement about Jim Harbaugh, you know, coming in, being the new head coach. Um, what have been some of the big differences between working with Harbaugh and then working with Brandon Staley? Uh, of course, Coach Staley was a great guy, co uh, mm -hmm. great coach. You know, things didn't work out for us but uh coach harbaugh man he's he's an alpha he's a he's a like i say he's he's really man all football i mean like i don't i don't even think it's a guy in the world that loves football more than him um it's it's very noticeable and uh every day he sees the same guy and um he just wants the best mm -hmm. for the players mm -hmm. well he's very famous for you know his quips and sound bites and sayings is there anything he said to you personally that has stood out um I remember him just telling me, uh, football is like being born again. You know, you're in the you're in the womb, you're warm. I'm like, he compared it literally to someone being pregnant. So it's like, you know, and then you just come out in the world. You know, it's the start of the season. You come out into the world and it's just like, wow. I'm like, man, this man is like really like different. <laughs> I had never heard nobody <laughs> compare it to like, you know, a woman giving birth. You know, he's like, it's warm in there. It's warm in there. Then you just come out and it's just time to play football. <laughs> So I'm exactly. like, he's, he's different, man. Yeah, just like a giraffe. You hit the ground, you got to go run, and you got to run right away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely fun, man. Uh, you also have a new defensive coordinator with Jesse Minter. Um, how have how have things changed with him at the helm? Uh, he's a great young coach, man. Um, I would say my favorite thing for him, uh, one of his favorite co quotes are like, playmakers are welcome. And um, he just wants you to make plays, man, and uh, trust your teammates around you. And um, my couple months with him, it's, it's been amazing. Fantastic. 
And uh, are there is, are there any rookies or new additions that have stood out for you at training camp right now? Um, I'll say everybody just working their tail off, man. And um, <laughs> it's definitely uh, it's been some flashes. Uh, you know, Cam Hart made some good plays. The running back Verdell made some good plays. Uh, Little Rice been making plays. A lot of a lot of guys making plays, man. Um, and I feel like, man, we just need that to translate to you know week one when we play the Raiders. You know, whoever on the fifty three. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, and you also said in the video, one of my favorite quotes from you in that whole thing was that in order to be a leader, you had to become a great follower. Yeah. Um, do you see that happening with the Chargers right now? Yes. And I feel like it's great leaders that are open and are, that are listening to who guys who before done it their way and, you know, pros are pros. But it's leaders, like you said, that know, know their, their way work, but they're sacrificing it for the team. And I feel like that's the difference. And, you know, that's ultimately, you know, it's going to help us in the long run. Uh, who has emerged as kind of leaders within the team right now? Um, I would say Asante Samuel has done a great job of just alerting, mm -hmm. uh, taking that next step. Uh, Lohi Gilman uh, is doing a great job. Rayshon Slater for the offense. Um, so a lot of guys like that. Fantastic. And then um, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, you revealed that Jim Harbaugh may have an offensive package for you this season. I need that. Um, you need that? Yeah, I, I, I remind say, him every day. I say, Coach, don't forget about me. I, I remind him. <laughs> I need that. I want to score a touchdown one time in the NFL. That would be cool, man. I, I have to stop all these guys from scoring so many. I want to at least score one, you know? <laughs> well, has he given you any updates on that at all? Or has he just been like, yeah, I'll talk to you later? No, nah, he's he been giving me updates, but it's more on Coach Giro, Coach Greg Roman, and some of those other guys over there. You know, I just got to get to him, you know? But uh, mm -hmm. Coach Harbaugh is very open. He... Man, Coach Harbaugh literally is he he's open to like I say, playmakers. He don't care if you play kicker. If you can make that tackle, he'll he'll let you do it. Fantastic. And well, that's actually everything I got prepared to say. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for doing this. It was an absolute pleasure getting to see the clip, an absolute pleasure talking with you right now. Yeah, no, man. Thank you for having me, Jeremy. Wish you none but the best, bro. You too. And uh ha have a great season. I'm rooting for you guys. Thank Hard you, man. Call. Thank you. <laughs>